What's up? My name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to theme OBS Studio. Lots of you may have already seen OBS Studio with different themes, besides the default dark mode and default light mode. There's a ton of customization you can do here, and the OBS Studio forums is the best place to get them. This video isn't sponsored in any way, but it is here for you if you'd like to customize how OBS Studio looks. So heading across to the link in the description down below, you'll find the themes page on the OBS forums. All you need to do is find a theme that works well with you. I'll go with Dark Bobby theme over here. As you can see, it changes the colors of pretty much everything, styles of the buttons, backgrounds, etc, etc. And because I like this, all I have to do is click go to download in the top right of the form post. We'll then be taken across to some sort of download page, and we should be able to download it from here. Of course, however, people decide to distribute it, you'll usually end up with a zip file of some sort when you get around to the end of it. Inside of the zip file, you'll usually either find a folder or you'll find files like these. What we need is the folder and the file named, the same as the folder, .qss. These two files over here are required for the theme and these are the ones that we'll be using. The rest of the files here you can usually ignore. So with the QSS file and the folder over here, where do we need to put them? Well, we need to place them in OBS Studio's install directory. You can usually right click any OBS Studio shortcut and click open file location. And if you take into a shortcut like this, right click and once again open file location. This should take you to the install directory, which by default is C program files OBS hyphen studio bin x64. What we need to do is head back to the OBS Studio up here. So two folders back and we'll see all of these files here. Open the data folder, then OBS Studio, and finally you'll see a themes folder. This themes folder here is where we need to drop these two files here. So both the folder and the .qss file. And once they've been placed in this directory, all you need to do from here is restart OBS Studio and we can use the theme. So there we go, OBS Studio restarted. I'll then click settings in the bottom right. And on the general tab at the very top, you'll see theme dark default. And if you expand this, you'll see some of the default themes, including the one we just downloaded. Selecting any theme here will immediately result in changes in OBS Studio. And of course, if it freezes for a second or two, don't worry, it's just adjusting things. Of course, some things may have changed how they look. Text can be different sizes, icons, etc. So you may want to adjust things to better suit your needs. Of course, if you don't like it, you're more than free to head back and change it to something else, or of course, download new themes. It's super simple, and I do like it quite a lot. But anyways, that's really about it for this quick guide. Thank you all for watching. My name's been taking over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.